what questions we have. Just to start, we'll be honoring three seniors, kind of all different paths on, on how they got here, I guess. What, what does that trio meant for this season and beyond? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll start with Case A. I mean, he's, he's been unbelievable for the last three seasons and you know I think far exceeded everybody's expectations we knew that case could really shoot the ball uh, but everything that he has provided for our program uh, you know for first and foremost for what he has done in the community and just how he has been embraced by everybody in this state and uh, you know he plays with such a joy and such a passion and you know we brought him in as a guy that could space the floor and shoot the ball really not having any idea uh, the other things that he does that could impact our program in a positive way and he's going to go down as one of the all-time favorites i think to wear a husker uniform and uh, it's been really fun to see it's been fun to witness it's been fun to coach him uh, he's going to go down as one of my all-time favorites that I've had the opportunity, uh, you know, to be with and, and coach through a lot of ups and downs. And, you know, through it all, he's kept a smile on his face. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be prouder of where he is right now and, and the opportunity that he has presented for himself with his future. And, you know, it's going to be an emotional day with Casey. I mean, you hear the ovation when he gets introduced. And, you know, this last time Casey is going to suit up in Pinnacle Bank Arena. So it's going to be emotional, I think, for a lot of people, including me, uh, for Casey and his dad, who was here. And, uh, you know, and, and again, everybody that's uh, that's been a part of this thing through through the last three years. So, you know, I love the kid and, you know, looking forward to following him, you know, whatever his future holds. Uh, you know, Josiah made, a, uh, made a, a, a commitment to come back home and hopefully lead us to uh, lead this program to where it's never been before. And he's, you know, Josiah, the energy that he brings, the passion that he brings to the floor in practice, in shoot around, when he comes in and does individual work, uh, he just does everything with force. And he's had some really, really good moments for us. And a lot of times it doesn't show up in a box score, just all the little things uh, that Josiah does. But what it has been really cool, you know, all the great things he's done on the floor for us, uh, but in one year, what he has done off the court and the amount of people that come up and just say they've uh, you know, got a chance to talk to Josiah wherever it is, at a restaurant, at a high school game, and you know, just the type of person that Josiah is. It's been fun to see he and Becca, how they have interacted, and you know, to see his mom in the stands at every game. And his, and his siblings. It's just been it's been a really cool uh, situation to have Joe back here for his last year of college. And obviously, want to send those guys off uh, in a great way tomorrow. Uh, you know, Boogie has done a lot of things for us, and most of those behind the scenes. And I, I know I give Boogie as much credit, really, as anybody for keeping our group together in a really hostile environment uh, when we were facing a lot of adversity in Bloomington a couple weeks ago, a huge, huge win for us. At the end of the day, when we look back, you know, that one game, uh, you know, the importance of that game may be as much as any that we've played all year. You know, it hasn't been the role that, uh, that Boogie has wanted, but he, I'm telling you, he's come in with a very positive attitude every day. Uh, he's been a joy to coach. He's been great for the young guys. And uh, I still think Boogie's got a bright future ahead of him. And, you know, we're going to try to do everything we can to help him, uh, you know, put him in a good situation moving forward. But, you know, it's three wonderful kids that have all made uh, uh, huge impacts on the program in different ways. But, you know, it's going to be a great day tomorrow and, and hopefully send those guys off in, in, a, in a good way. Yeah, I mean, I you know, I was part of it. I think I talked about this last year. I was so emotional in my hometown that, uh, you know, I was so hyped up and amped up that I went out there and, you know, I almost banked in my first couple shots. So it is, you know, you, you're going to have to find a way to, you know, go out there, enjoy the moment. And then, you know, once that ball goes up in the air, it's, it's game time and it's, you know, fall back on your habits and, you know, all the things that we're trying to accomplish with a really uh, talented team uh, that puts you in a tough spot because of their pressure. So, yeah, we're going to have to go out there and, and almost calm our nerves, uh, you know, after the ceremony and uh, hopefully go out there and execute for 40 minutes. With 
Tracy, you talked about his return and how important that was this off season when he did officially announce that he was coming back. At what point did you kind of realize maybe this season could be what it's been so far? Yeah, I, you know, I think really when when we when we finally got the uh, final pieces put together with this group. And you know, when we went over to Spain, we still I don't think really knew what we had because uh, we had so many injuries this summer. Uh, Kase playing for his national team, Rink playing for his national team, uh, but we did have the luxury of getting some practices in. And I saw then that we had a really hard playing team that was going to be unselfish and play together. And that's what this group has done uh, every day, pretty much, is found a way uh, to stay together, battle through uh, adversity. Um, you know, just uh, do some really special things out there on the floor. So when you put a group together and you have the buy-in that we had from day one, you have a chance. And and these guys work. They they always put in extra time. And uh, again, that's a luxury as a coach when you have a group that can go out there and do all the little things and not ever have to worry about what's their attitude going to be like when they walk through the door. What is their you know agenda? Is everybody going to be here on time? I don't think we had anybody late all year. And that's I, I've never had that ever uh, as a player. Hell, I was late my freshman year. I overslept. I slept through an alarm. You know, we didn't have one guy that I can recall right now uh, that was ever late or missed a practice or missed a session. And uh, these guys have been extremely coachable, and that's why I think we are sitting where we are right now. Uh, but obviously, we still have work to do. Talked about recruiting out of the portal and finding guys who fit the team's cultures with Josiah specifically. How does yeah, how did he fit in this year? The mental makeup. You're looking for? Yeah, Joe it fits exactly the type of player that we want in our program, and he's tough. He's uh, you know he's gritty. He's first guy on the floor. You know he's got countless uh, extra possessions for our team, whether it's an offensive rebound, whether it's diving out of bounds, uh, getting his hand on a ball, and that's what I'm talking about with Josiah. Is it doesn't always show up. Um, in the final box score, but he just does so many things that impact winning, and uh, and it's all due to effort. So yeah, when you talk about building a team and building a culture, you know it's it's all guys uh, like Josiah. Hopefully for us moving forward, that we can continue to recruit that type of player. What's his impact as a leader in this year? Yeah, yeah Josiah has been a great leader. Casey has been a great leader. Um, you know, Boogie's been a great leader. So you got three seniors that have all provided really good leadership for this team. And, uh, you know, Josiah, he sets the tone of his effort every day. And Kase sets the tone, believe it or not, with his voice. And that wasn't the case three years ago. But he has just continued to, uh, you know, go out there and, uh, and, and come in and, and lead this group with a positive attitude. And same thing with Josiah. And if Josiah's got to jump somebody, he's got the respect uh, to do that because of how hard that he plays and how hard he works. I wish you had another one next year. That would be that would be great. And then, yeah. uh, looking back the whole season, it's not over yet. But uh, um, how um, how much do you believe that uh, his dis dis uh, he made a right decision for himself and then for the team? Yeah, I mean, Kase coming back, uh, I think absolutely benefits him. He really put his name on the map last year with how he performed for probably the last five six weeks of the season, and he increased that with what he did in in the World Cup this last year in Okinawa. And uh, I think he's helped himself even more just with all the attention that he draws to be able to make the shots that he does and the degree of difficulty, um, you know, with, uh, with how he shoots the ball. And he's just, uh, he's made a lot of plays, even though he's the focal point on the other team's uh, board. I know that. The, the first guy they're talking about, how they're going to game plan, is what are they going to do with Kese? So, you know, he's just been uh, such a rock uh, for us. And I think, you know, if you ask him, absolutely, he made the right decision to come back. I think so. I mean, I, I would never say no to anybody. And um, hell, if I can make it, anybody can make it, Robin. <laughs> it's, but, you know, Kase, listen, with analytics and what that league is all about, I mean, you need floor spacing. You need guys that can shoot at a high level. And obviously, Kase is as good as anybody that certainly I've ever seen. Rutgers, obviously, guy you get on the glass. Yeah. Uh, last matchup, uh, what, what are the bullet points that I have in the yeah, we get, well, you know, I think I've said this every time I sat in here, but we have to take care of the ball and we have to rebound. And they did. They absolutely uh, out-toughed us, uh, especially in the second half. 
when we had, I think, a 10-point lead with about 10 to go, and they made all the hustle plays. You know, we struggled getting a rebound in the flow. We struggled getting a rebound up from uh, off a missed free throw, and it cost us. It, it cost us a game, and, uh, you know, that's who they are. They're relentless. Steve Peichel does a phenomenal job of getting his team ready to play every night. Uh, their physicality, their toughness, uh, everything they're all about. We have to go out there tomorrow with that mindset. You know, it's a hard hat, uh, lunch pail type game. And, you know, hopefully we can go out there from the first possession and, and execute and play with a level of toughness and sustain that for 40. Did you like how guys bounced back after Columbus? Yeah, I think you guys have, have been good. Yesterday we watched, a, we had a long film session, watched a lot of breakdowns that we had that we hadn't been doing. And, uh, you know, showed some offense that, you know, just didn't have the same movement that we had when we were a really good offensive team. So, you know, we just got to get back to who we are. We got to get back to our movement. We got to get back to, you know, playing for each other, covering for each other, and uh, finishing off possessions with physicality. And, you know, the guys uh, put in the game plan yesterday in a very light kind of walkthrough type practice and we went at it today you know I felt we had to after pretty much um, you know a day off yesterday as far as on their legs and that's why I made you guys wait for half an hour and I apologize for that but we I felt we had to go uh, longer today and uh, get ourselves prepared for for what's at stake tomorrow senior day question should we read anything to the guys that aren't being honored Ray, Juwan, Bryce? Uh, I'm not reading anything into it so I don't think you should either yeah is that good? I don't know. All right, thanks, guys. We're going to have a little break, obviously.